Everybody knows about the famous Salamand Grid El Mirage for its fantastic relevance in the Salamand Grid deck. <laughs> Just kidding, it's better in other decks than in the Salamand Grid deck itself. Anyways, that monster is basically identical to another existing monster called El Lumirage. That card completely blows, but it looks badass, and that's all that matters. As a matter of fact, both of these cards are based on the same mythical creature, which is the El Mirage. And yes, I just pronounced it in Arabic because it is in fact a horned rabbit in the Arabic medieval literature. It wasn't necessarily a powerful monster or anything, but it was said that all the wild animals fled at the sight of it. This weird unicorn looking like monster was eventually offered to Alexander the Great after apparently defeating a dragon in Jezirat el Tenin, which means island of the sea serpent in Arabic. It's basically an irrelevant creature completely unrelated to the religion and if anything, nobody gives two shits about it. Although I will say, it is cool to notice that its Wikipedia page does have a reference to the two Yu-Gi-Oh cards created on its effigy.